All right, it is mid-January and we are out here prospecting. This is Coleman Creek on the Banfield Copper property. And we are looking for mineralization in the creek. Every time we come here, it's very dusty. Water's not flowing for about eight months out of the year. So we're gonna check out some of the bedrock that we can see. Uh, we're gonna check out and sample is showing on the road around the corner there. And just have a look around, do what we can in the snow. So the bedrock all along here is all limestone. There's some limestone peeking up through here. There's chunks of limestone all along this creek. Limestone, limestone. Well, the majority of this looks like it's granite, which likely comes from above because this is also limestone here. We found a couple samples that I want to hammer open that look interesting. Some nice mineralization in this sample here, the bigger one. Looks like scarn. There's actinolite, pyrotite, pyrite and calcopyrite. Very heavy. What it looks like is you have massive mineralization. There's some magnetite in there, calcopyrite, pyrotite, pyrite. This is a very heavy piece of rock here. So this is all limestone down here. And you can see up there, there's a small little added entrance. You can see the oxidation below there. Looks like it's mineralized. So we're just gonna prospect along here. There's an area up there I wanna get a sample from if we can manage to get one down. I'm just gonna look at this 100 meter stretch of road. So we have an interesting area here. All this area along here, you have little micro stringers of calcopyrite. Your rock appears to be a combination of limestone, bonanza volcanics, and uh, it's all disseminated with fine iron pyrite. Up there you have a showing we grabbed a couple samples. Pretty difficult to film anything up there. It's really steep. Uh, but there's a showing up there, just around the corner, running down this way. And that's where we took our sample over there. J2's up over there prospecting. So to get up there, you actually have to walk across here, which is really slippery. Next time we're going to bring a ladder, you can hang out there. And we basically had to throw a bunch of rocks and a hammer at it to get our sample to fall off. A little sketchy. Next time we'll bring a ladder, get a better sample. See there's mineralization up there. So this is the area. Going up there we knocked a piece off of uh, right where that whitish patch is. Right beside that, we knocked a five kilogram plus minus chunk off. We tried to get a piece off of over here too, but all we got was little crumbs. So that's our sample area there. Like I said, next time we'll bring a ladder. This is the sample. We broke it up into a few pieces. You can see it's pretty similar to what you see inside the creek. Pyrotite and pyrite. This one has a little less calcopyrite from what I can tell. A 
but nice mineralization from this area here. A couple other small little micro stringers along in here where we found little bits of calcopyrite and pyrite. So this runs all the way up because there's showings on an upper road way up about 200 meters. There's showings along the creek along here and we found tons of float samples in this creek here. So not a bad little area and look forward to prospecting the rest of this claim block. So we're about 500 meters away and up here there is more mineralization. We couldn't make it up though. We tried. It's just too slippery. This is bedrock underneath. So when it's dry out we'll have to come back and sample this but it's uh, really nice mineralization. We're finding chunks of the same pyrite, ferritite, calcopyrite as we did at the place 500 meters away.